Professor Diaz here, and in this video, I want to talk about the change uh, or the differences between um, production efficiency and allocative efficiency. So, when I teach this class face to face, I always ask the class, where on this line is the most productive place to operate? What is the most efficient, um, productive place to operate? And I'll, I'll say A, uh, B, C, D, or E. And I'll have the class vote. Um, go ahead and take a minute and think, what is the most efficient place to allocate uh, or to, to operate on this production's possibility frontier? And I have the class vote and almost invariably, everybody says C. C is the most efficient place to operate because uh, at C, you get three oranges and you get three uh, apples or cherries or whatever we're saying these are. Um, you get three of the orange fruit and three of the red fruit, right? And so you get six total fruit, which seems pretty efficient, right? Um, and if you want to produce one more apple or cherry, whatever that is, you have to lose three of the orange fruit. And so most people will just say C is the most efficient point on the curve, um, the most production. This is not the case. This is not true. Okay, not true. The correct answer is that all of those places, A, B, C, D, and E, are all equally productive. They're maximally productive because you can't produce any more. By definition, this is the production's possibilities frontier. This is the most you can produce in any direction, right? Um, so even if you're operating up here at A or all the way down here at E, you're producing as efficient as possible. You can't produce any more, all right? Um, what you're thinking of then is allocative efficiency. Allocative efficiency is different than production efficiency. Allocative efficiency is asking the question, are we producing what this country wants? So again, if this is the USA, does the USA want apples and oranges? or just apples, or how many apples and how many oranges, right? If there's not a large demand for, for apples, then maybe we want to produce down here at E, right? Or maybe we don't want oranges. Maybe we want to produce up here then. Or maybe we want mostly apples, but not a lot of oranges. But as long as we're producing somewhere on this line, we're at maximum production efficiency, but not necessarily at maximum allocative efficiency, right? Production efficiency then means that we're producing as much as we possibly can produce, but the mix is, is indetermined. Um, allocative efficiency means we're producing the mix of goods and services, the mix of apples and oranges that any given countries like the USA would want, okay? So if we're producing here, then we're not at production efficiency because we can move out to the line in some way and then we would be at production efficiency. Um, but as long as we're on the line, we're at production efficiency, but we may or may not be at allocative efficiency. There's no way of knowing without knowing what mix of goods and services that particular country would want. In the next video, I'm going to talk about um, changes in the production possibilities frontier.